ियन then in search plugin write price based on country for woocommerce so this is plugin we will use so click on install now and then click on activate it now plugin is activated and then you see thanks for installing so click on continue so we are going to add license key geo ip database the woocommerce geo location feature require the max mind geo lite to free database so we are going to create account and then you see link so open it so this is documentation if you want you can read instruction and then you see enabling geo location first step is go to woocommerce setting general and then enable this option and after that create an account on maxmind so first we are going to create an account so open this link and after that we are going to generate key now you see geo like to sign up so you can add your information so we added information you see full name company industry country so you can add information according to requirement and then click on continue now processing now you see message thank you for sign up you will receive an email with instruction for accessing the database now go to gmail so this email we receive and then you see username you can set password and then you see multiple link so click on it so we added password and then click on reset password now you see message password set and then sign in so you can add username and then click on next then add password and then click on sign in so we are in account page and we are in account summary and then you see manage license key so click on it and then you see license key and account id description so we are going to generate new license key so click on it so you can add license key description so we added woocommerce and then click on confirm your new license key has been created it may take up to 5 minutes for this new key to be activated so wait for 5 minutes and then you see account id license key so copy this and then add in your wordpress go to wordpress dashboard so after 5 minutes paste key and then click on continue now you see cash port load the price of the product using javascript ajax so click on continue and then you see ready message the geo location feature is ready to go you should now add the first pricing zone if you want you can click on it add a pricing zone so we are in woocommerce setting and then you see tab pricing zone so we are in woocommerce setting and then scroll down you see pricing zone enable so you can add zone name so you can add zone name according to requirement and then you see country and then you see button select all none euro zone and select euro zone now click on it now select country united states canada so this is our first zone so you can add country the according to requirement and then you see currency so we are going to display us currency to these countries if you want you can change it and then scroll down you see exchange rate this option available in pro automatic update and then you see exchange rate one usd so if you want you can add exchange rate manually and then scroll down you see currency option all option available in pro so click on save changes now setting save and then you see pricing zone option b versus pro so if you want you can add more zone so click on back to zone list and then scroll down so this is our pricing zone first if you want you can add more and then you see option so click on it and then scroll down you see option general price based on you see customer billing country shipping country now select and then you see cash port enable and then click on save changes now setting saved and scroll down you see advance so click on it enable option apply the exchange rate to the shipping cost now scroll up click on general so click on it and then scroll down you see default customer location geo locate so already selected now scroll up and open pricing zone again so click on it so you can set price manually or from exchange rate so it's up to you 
and then scroll down so we created one zone so you can create multiple zones according to your requirement now click on edit and open any product so this is our product and then you see price 33 dollar now click on edit product now edit product open and then scroll down you see product data so we are in general tab and then you see this is a regular price 33 dollar and then you see price for america calculate prices by exchange rate now back to pricing zone and then scroll down now you see exchange rate here if you want you can set manually so it's up to you now back to pricing zone if you want you can create more than one zone now you see currency so you can select currency for that region according to your requirement so we select united states dollar for canada and us so if you want you can select another currency for these both countries if you want you can add more so it's up to you and then you see exchange rate 1 usd is equal to 1 usd if we change here like ugx and then you see 1 usd equal to 1.5 so this is our new currency for these countries now select usd again now select one again so we are going to display same currency on all over the world but price will be different for each country or zone but we are going to display usd to all over the world now back to date product now you see price for america if you create more zone than that zone show here so this is our first zone set price manually now you see regular price 33 now make it 25 now you see sale price if you want you can set sale price also so we are going to display product price 25 dollar to canada and america and remaining all over the world we are going to display or show 33 dollar price for this product now click on update now go to product page now copy this so we are in another browser and our ip address is us now you see now paste product link and then enter now you see product is loading so we are using us ip address and now you see price 25 dollar for this region so in this zone we select two countries canada america and we set price 25 manually if you want you can set price through exchange rate so it's up to you now you see 25 dollar for us region so you can set price for different countries according to your requirement now back to dashboard again so this is our product now you see 33 for pakistan region now go to edit product and then scroll down in general tab you see price for america so we are going to create one more zone to check now back to pricing zone now scroll up so click on pricing zone again now scroll down you see pricing zone button so we are going to create one more zone so click on it and then scroll down you see general enable so you can add zone name and then you can add country so we added select euro zone zone name euro so it's up to you and then you see currency now select euro again so we select currency euro and then you see exchange rate exchange rate 1 usd so you can add according to your requirement 1 usd is equal to 2 euro if our product is 15 dollar then in euro price will be 30 dollar multiply by 2 so you can add exchange rate according to your requirement but we are going to add price manually on each product and then scroll down currency option all option available in pro and click on save changes now you see zone updated successfully go to edit product now refresh the page and then scroll down go to product data so we are in general tab and then you see another price zone price for euro if you want you can use this so if our product price is 15 dollar then in euro region product price will be 30 euro so you can use this option according to your requirement if you want you can use this or if you want you can set price manually so it's up to you so you can create many zones according to your requirement and then select country so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching